Hello. We are going on a coffee, ca nope, I almost said a coffee crawl. I mean, yes, it is coffee crawl. It's a coffee crawl. We're going on a cafe crawl, coffee crawl. Coffee crawl. I can't do this without coffee, which is why we're going to get coffee. <laughs> So we're gonna be saying each place until we get a thousand words, or do we have a specific? Um... That's the tentative. I love it. You're like, like it's scared. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh no. <laughs> and it takes too long. Perfect. Perfect. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. What's your goal? My goal is to flush out the. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we're doing multiple vlogs here, so you can go over to Kate Cavanaugh's channel to watch more, more. Mm. <laughs> Although I'm sure everyone who subscribed to me is also probably subscribed to you. <laughs> and if they're not, what are you doing? <laughs> um, <laughs> what are your goals for the day? My goals for the day. <laughs> um, I'm going to be trying to flush out the crew, the cast, like the core found family, if you will, mm. of Be Gay Solve Crime. Because I did not focus on that when I originally wrote it. And I feel like they probably need an upgrade. Mm. So that's what my goal is. We'll see how well that goes. Yay! Woo! So I was lucky enough to go on a writing retreat with some of my very close friends. I was invited by Jessica Williamson at the Hex Library, who unfortunately is not in this video, even though I was with her. Luckily, I was joined on this adventure to different coffee shops to write by Wellissimo, Kate Cavanaugh, and Grape Fry. We went to each cafe and were writing, and during this time, I was working on Be Gay, Solve Crime, Drink Blood, which I'm sure you're like, wait a minute, isn't that project over three years old? Yes, yes it is. Clearly someone needs some coffee. <laughs> While on this retreat, I was really struggling with trying to figure out what I wanted to work on, what story I wanted to write. <laughs> and I returned to Be Gay Self Crime, which I wrote three years ago. And I'm drastically changing it this time around, luckily. And this was my first foray into actually working on it. Like I said in the intro, I was working on fleshing out each of the characters and kind of creating this found family crew, which I did end up actually solidifying on this journey. Look at how cool this train is, by the way. I really liked moving around to different places and really getting different atmospheres for each one. Oh, might be now. <laughs> there was quite a bit of construction around this place so we couldn't actually go on the sidewalk down to the coffee shop so we did have to jaywalk uh which i did catch on camera and i don't know if i should keep it in but oh well uh there was literally no other option we had to jaywalk basically and this cafe was really cute i really liked the latte i really liked the vibes and i especially liked that we could go and sit on the roof it was a beautiful perfect day i really enjoyed it i really enjoyed being able to look over the town and look at how cute these umbrellas are oh oh we have it all to ourselves it's like the perfect place to sit and write and plus the food was pretty good, which is always the main thing you want when you're going to a cafe. And the coffee was good. It had extra shots of espresso, which I certainly needed, obviously. Okay. Before I got started writing for the day, I decided to shuffle my new moon oracle cards. I've been really enjoying pulling one of these every single day and trying to figure out to just kind of give me the vibe for the day and what I should be looking forward to or what I should meditate on while I'm working. Ooh, I got the full moon in Cancer. A personal issue reaches resolution. Oh, oh, this card indicates an especially feminine time. Oh, uh, well, yes. Yes, <laughs> nothing but feminine energy here, <laughs> which honestly love it. And here's my sandwich that I got, and here I am writing. It was really kind of weird to dump to jump back into a project I hadn't touched in a, 
quite a while. <laughs> but I found it was easier to jump in than I expected. Uh, the previous night, I had reread what I had written in this specific POV. And it was really just refreshing to kind of return to a character that I feel like I know really, really well. Like, I spent a lot of time with Chloe, obviously, uh, when I was originally writing the book. And so it was really nice to actually return to her and her friends and her world. I have finished my book. And at, once we move on to the next location, oh, the book I finished was My Roommate is a Vampire. And I shall be moving on something called Ava Evergreen Semi Magical Witch. Oh, that's oh, so cute. cute. Yeah, that'll be fun. And you can also go see Wallace Hall both of those books in her video videos. Yes. Then we randomly stopped at this antique shop that looked really cool and cute and we just kind of spent a couple couple of minutes browsing around, not too long, but it was a nice little break. And then we went to this boba shop called High Five Cakes, which was so cute. And the people who worked there were so friendly and super nice. And um, it was a lovely time. I really liked the atmosphere. It was really cool inside because it was kind of getting a little hot outside. And I really enjoyed sitting at these marble tables and working. I don't know. It was just very aesthetic to me. <laughs> I very much enjoyed it. I would love to go back if I didn't live like four hours away. But yeah, they had really good boba. I had a peach one. Wait, 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 hold on. Back up, back up. <laughs> no, no, no. I gotta, Slow mo. Oh, right. You know, cinematography, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Yes, girl. First sip. Oh, wow, that's really good. <laughs> oh, my God. Finally, we stopped at our last place, which was the place we'd been going all week. And we spent a little bit of time chatting and getting some writing done. And it was overall a really successful day. I really enjoyed it. And I just want to thank my friends again. Go follow them if you're not already. It was a lovely time. And thank you for watching. Truth is, I can't leave me